Okay, uh, this is uh, going to be the last um, video in the, the making of the uh, garden obelisk. As you can see, I've put a coat of uh, red oxide primer on. Um, this is on the main body of the uh, of the frame. Um, I haven't done anything to these copper washed mild steel scrolls, and I'm probably going to leave those as they are with uh, just some touching up around the scorch marks here which I really can't do anything about those this is where the, the well joints are so I'm, because the copper washing has gone I'm probably just going to put a I've got some copper replacement but it's not the same colour so I'm just going to have to live with uh, but at least it'll offer some protection and um, as you can see it, just, it looks pretty good uh, there we go, see. Um, I'm going to paint now the... I've got some um, enamel bronze uh, which I'm going to paint the main body with now. This is this is going to go on top. Probably bring, bring up two coats of the, uh, the bronze on. And um, my favourite paint is this uh, orange gold patina. Uh, and this is going to go, I'm going to paint the top crest there, uh, gold, and uh, these leaves are going to be gold, orange gold, and these leaves here are going to be orange gold. So I bet you, I bet you're wondering why I'm in my kitchen uh, painting um, the frame up. Um, well, quite a nice day outside but the temperature is below 10 degrees and uh, the paint I'm putting on needs to be put on as a minimum of 10 degrees so uh, although the lights pretty poor in the kitchen here uh, I've got my head torch on uh, I'm still gonna have to put a second coat on after this uh, when it gets a bit warmer outside uh, ie above 10 degrees um, so just got to persevere with this and then anything I miss I'll have to put it on outside when it gets a bit warmer when the lights a lot easier or better. Right this is my uh, I think this is my favorite color that I'm painting on there this uh, orange gold patina it um, just looks so rich I don't know if it shows up so well here, but it's it's just a beautiful, beautiful gold. Pretty hard to see in this light. Not the leaves to do. Then I've decided I'm going to paint the little circles there, gold as well as, as well as those leaves. So I was going to put silver there but not anymore. So I'm just doing it very gently just working it in. Using little uh, art brushes, a very, very fine, very, very fine brush. Working it into the crevices. Again, I'm doing this inside because it's still about eight degrees outside. And the minimum temperature you need is 10 degrees, so... This isn't so bad though, you can actually see where you're going with this. Although I'll probably still miss something. But I'll notice when I take it outside. Ugh. Ugh. 
Right. Right. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is the final video of this series of uh, making a garden obelisk. Um, I've done all the paintwork now. Um, and overall, I'm quite pleased with the result. Um, I've used bronzes, coppers, and antique golds uh, in the paintwork on this, and uh, turned out pretty good. So, um, I might put this in or leave this in my garden, or I might just um, I might just sell it on eBay as an auction, see if I get anything for it. Either way, uh, that's going to be it. Well, thanks for watching. Catch you later.